Hi, I'm Mike Anthony from Gramercy Tavern. I'd like to show you how to cook a piece of black sea bass. This is a kind of, I'd say medium-sized fish, light coloration. All the pin bones have been taken out and I'm just gonna score it really gently so that when I cook it in this pan, the heat has a chance to transfer quickly and easily and without overcooking the fish. See how I just barely score the skin so it's not a deep cut, but really light. And then I'm gonna season it with salt and pepper on both sides and a hot pan with a little drizzle of olive oil. I'm gonna cook this filet skin side down. The skin of this fish is thin and delicious, so you can leave it on as I'm going to today, or you can take it off. Now that that pan is nice and hot, I'm gonna uh, lay this fish skin side down, just flat in the bottom of the pan, and I'm gonna keep a little bit of pressure on it. Sometimes home cooks are not comfortable getting their hands down there close to the heat. You can take something that has just a little bit of weight. This is a heavy plate that just puts a little bit of pressure on the uh, fish so that the skin rests flat in the pan. And I don't want it to squash the filet or denature the texture of the fish, just a little light pressure. And after a couple of minutes, you can see that the filet is kind of like now resting flat in the pan. The heat is transferring through the fish gently. Um, I didn't put too much fat in the pan because I don't want the sides of the filet to brown. I want the skin to brown. See how the uh, edges of the fish are lightly cooking, but they're not getting necessarily fried. As the fish cooks, I'm actually gonna lower the heat. It can be delicious by searing the fish a lot harder, but this is such a beautiful, delicate fish that I wanna actually try to make it uh, work out so that it's just as delicate as it can be. I'm gonna take some aromatics and put them in the pan. One piece of crushed garlic, a little bay leaf. If I had thyme or rosemary, I could add it at this point. And I'm gonna add a little pat of butter in the pan, which will, as it melts, it'll not only help to even out the brown caramelization in the pan, but it'll also, if that fish started to stick to the pan, this is a little trick as that butter um, kind of gets between the skin and the pan, it helps it detach really easily. Once that um, butter is melted, and I can see that in the pan it's also lightly browning, that's great for taste too. I'm gonna be really careful to just ease the filet off of the pan. That's and, where I always mess up. And flip it over. That's where I mess up. You gotta get your second hand in there and use the tool at the same time and not be scared of, um, of getting burnt because it's not a high heat pan and it's not gonna splatter. And as long as you don't flop the fish, your, your hands are safe. So I'm gonna use a little bit of lemon juice on the fish and more in the pan. And I'm gonna add just a little splash of, I could use stock or wine. In this case, I'm using a little splash of vermouth. And I'm gonna make sure that I just get, just before this fish comes out of the pan, I'm gonna get every last little piece of that delicious uh, caramelization of the butter and the fish and baste it right over the top of this fish. We're essentially maximizing the flavor and then I'm gonna just, same way, I'm gonna get the edge of this spatula underneath the fish and lift it out and serve it. And I'm gonna finish this fish with just a little sprinkle of uh, sea salt uh, and sit down and eat it. Black sea bass is a great choice of fish this time of year. It starts in May and usually lasts through, the season lasts through October. Um, it's a fish that you can find from Cape Cod on down to Cape Hatteras in North Carolina and a great sustainable choice for the restaurant or eating at home. Let's hope you had fun watching this.